All right, so so far we have inside of our hello world file. Um, I've got a whole lot of money. I've got 13 point whatever it was. Great. We don't want this anymore because we want to change it up a little bit. We want to have, well, actually, no, we're going to keep this. We're going to put in an if and an else statement. Now, if you don't know what, well, yeah, you don't know what if else statements are. If else statements can be used for multiple situations. So, Let's say that I changed variable a to 1, okay? And I created an if statement. If a is greater than or equal to 2, curly bracket, that we're going to cut that out. Okay, it's gonna. So if a is greater than or equal to two, it will print out the I've got a whole lot of money. I've got thirteen point whatever. Now we can do a couple situations, or we can do a f flat out other situation. So there's an else if, which would mean if this statement was not true, it would go to this one. Now, an else statement has no requirements. It does not need these parentheses. This is what the parentheses are. They're the requirements for the statement to be true or false, whatever it is. Um, else if has requirements. Else does not because if these two are not working, then this will print out. So if he has a... is less than 2. Oh, wait. No, we don't want that. If A is equal to 2, system out print line. I've got some money. A space. And then uh, B. Yes. All right. So if A is greater than two, it'll print out I've got a lot of money. If it's equal to two, oh, equal to one. That's what I meant. If it's equal to one, then it's got I've got some money. And then if it's not one, if you set it to zero, any other statements, it could be anything. It's going to print out. I'm broke. Okay. Good. Let's compile it. Everything compiles correctly. Now, I just want to point out right here that you always, in an, in an if statement, an else statement, an else if statement, you will need two um, equal signs instead of just one. One is when you're declaring a variable. Two is if you're comparing a variable. That's a good way to put it. So if, if I declare it up here, it's one equal sign. But if I'm comparing a variable, it's two equal signs. Um, that's so you can have a greater than and equals to, a less than and equals to. Um, it just makes it. It's just it's just how things work in Java. So I'm gonna exit out. So right now, let's see, A is equal to 1, so we should get I've got some money. So let's check that out. Whoop. I've got some money, 6.982. We want to change this variable to 2. I've got a whole lot of money. I've got 13.964. And if we change A to 0, it should print out I'm broke. I'm broke. So that's the, uh, the good thing about Java is it's if-else statements. They're very useful if you want to have multiple situations. 
in something, whether it's a video game and he has multiple situations, multiple things that he can choose or it's options and something, if else statements will come in uh, very useful later on in Java. That's all I have today. Check out my future lessons. Subscribe, comment, do whatever you got to do. See you guys.